Hi folks, today we are going to make a chart screen for an app. This could be an independent chat app or it could be integrated with any app uh, having the chat feature. Okay, so what happens is the chat uh, module generally is consisting of two screens. One is of the list of all the people who, who uh, you are into in communication with and the second one is the detail screen where you chat with that user. Okay, so we'll be starting with the list screen first okay so here I'm having a default layout sort of thing for my app uh, I'll I'll upload this PSD on Google Drive and share the link in the description so you can try it yourself so let's start first of all I'll be changing the color of this header to a little bit of brighter shade of blue like this one Similarly, I'll change the status bar as well. I'll just keep it a little bit darker so that the differentiation is resistible. Okay. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat this as an independent app. So what what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write. I'm going to write chat app use white color and increase the size so this at this place uh, you can probably be using your products name or just write chat or something you can use it in the center as well but I'm going to use it in the uh, left align module okay like this then I'm going to create an options section as well. So let me just create, then you'll get an idea how you're going to use it. So I just opened the shape layer tool and I'm going to create three dots over here. I'm just duplicating it by pressing Ctrl J on my keyboard, Command J on Mac. I guess the circles are a little bit bigger so what you can do is just increase the spacing all right select all three distribute the three so that the spacing between all the three dots are equal and then just decrease the size of this so this circles will be a little bit smaller so, okay so this gives us, us a feel of that and there is some options menu inside this uh, button over here all right so now let's work on the list view of the screen okay so generally what happens is the there is this image of the person you're chatting with so we we'll probably be using a, a box over here uh, sorry a sphere over here like this and uh, let us use a uh, user icon to integrate over here let's say free ones let's use this one right now okay you can probably create a user icon or normally there is an image for the person whom you are talking to so this might not be required in the actual design that you'll be doing so let's just use this for now i'm going to press alt and i'm going to click in between these two layers to have this icon inside the circle over here like this okay then in front of the image there there is always the name 
of the person that you're chatting with the name goes uh, in the bold letters or you can say that there are two lines one that is the name so for here for now we are going to use workers. my laptop is having some issues so what it is doing is just it's just repeating some keys So if you see, we will probably be using a font size of 44, I guess. Let's just bold as well. Alright. Then there is the second line that has a message. The last message, just a single line of the last message. Alright, so we'll be using a little bit of smaller size than this one that we have used above. Then we're going to use regular. I'm going to select both the text layers. And I'm going to use left align and I'm going to press V on my keyboard to select the move tool and then I'm just moving it okay. like this. So let's type the message. Hey friend you today? I would have probably written don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos but uh, you can see I just I just want to I just had the space to write one line so I have just left it over there but you get the idea guys yeah do subscribe please so you can see that there are these two things then there is one more thing uh, that states when was the last message sent to you okay also the text in the layer over here is a little bit lighter than the heading the name of the person okay so I'm just pressing T for my text tool and then I'm just going to choose a lighter color for the below written text okay and uh, we want a another text layer so i'm just duplicating this control j in the layers panel and then i'm going to press t before that i'm just going to move it a little bit downwards so that i can see what i'm doing and now let's type in the time 06 30 and i just want it to be right aligned and then i'm going to hover it over here okay so we can have it of, an, uh, of a different color so that it can be justified easily. Now, this is how one of the messages uh, list view of one uh, user would look like. Okay, so let's just club all this. Okay, I, I have just done it all in the headers group. I'm just going to remove it from the headers group. For that, I'm going to select all these layers up till over here. I'm going to press Command J or Control J on a Windows, and I'm going to move it outside the header group to create a separate group for a single chat. Okay, we can probably write chat one for this group. Okay, then I'm going to Control J duplicate this group. I'm going to move it downwards. Just press press shifts to move it downwards so that you have a consistent vertical alignment okay and then I'm going to select both these groups and I'm going to just press duplicate I'm going to select all four and I'm going to press ctrl J again to duplicate all these one more time Okay, so this is it. All right, but you can see that the design would look much better if there would be uh, different images of actual users over here. All right. Also, we can 
probably provide a search icon over here so that people can search and before that I'm just going to create a divider to divide all these chat threads okay. you can see this is a little bit thick so probably 4 pixels and a little bit more lighter and I am going to duplicate it it has to be between every group better way ha would have been if I had uh, before grouping all this and duplicating all the groups I, I, I could have created this line and put it in one of the groups now I am just duplicating it manually also what I am not happy with is the image size I think this image size should be a little bit smaller so I am just going to decrease it like this right and probably I'll just delete all the other groups because they are not looking fine to me right now so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this group the first one I'm going to add this divider layer line inside it right take it a little bit upwards Right. now I'm just going to duplicate this group and I'm just pressing shift so that I can maintain the spacing between the vertical alignment actually now I'm, so I have selected both the layers and I'm just going to duplicate these again by pressing ctrl j so now this looks much better you can also select all these layers and distribute them so that if uh, the spacing is a little bit different anywhere it could be consistent throughout the design okay so let's just save it as well before when the laptop crashes or something like that happens So now there are two things that are missing. One is uh, there is no option to search what they are, what the chat is going to. Uh, I mean, there is no option to search uh, in the chats list view. So we have to add this. So I'm using this uh, magnifying glass. You can use any icon available online, or you can just create an icon yourself. For the tutorial purposes, I'm just using this icon so that we can move faster. So what happens on the click of this icon is that uh, the developer can probably open a window over here or the developer can move this section from down to a little bit downwards so that uh, a user can search it from over here. Also one of the most important thing is to add a new chat. Okay so for that I need to do is I will create a button over here. I'm going to color it also don't be bothered bothered about the colors at the first because these colors all these layers are shaped there so they, they can be changed in, uh, the color of these layers can be changed at any time of the development process as well okay so let's just add a plus symbol over it for that i'm using the text tool and i'm typing plus i'm going to use white color i'm going to center line it i'm going to increase its size let's 
let's just play with it with this button a little bit I have duplicated this circle I need to take the uh, larger one a little bit downwards and I need to decrease its opacity so this gives a more effect kind of feeling over here okay so this can be a normal chart for you now the thing is there could be n number of buttons added over here and um, the uh, client or the app can have a requirement of having more content over here or some other field like the location as well if the uh, app supports locations for the charts or something like that also there can be anything that can be required over here also there is one more thing that we should probably be adding in this that is a notification number notification kind of thing right so we can do this we can just place it over here all the unread, unread chat threads will have this notification icon over it and the amount of messages that are inside it so this will really give a great feeling to the design as you can see so let's move it inside chat one and i'm going to use this same thing for this so you can see the design is ready now if you want to uh, work on its appearance there is always room to design changes for that you can always use references online so if you can see there are a lot of design ideas that you can use from all depends on the requirement of the client and everything is based on that so yeah so this is it and this is the first part of the screen so in the next part we'll be talking about how the appearance would look if somebody clicks on any of these threads and they want to chat with that person okay so don't forget to subscribe and do check out the part 2 the link of the part 2 will be added in, into the description below so don't forget to check it out thank you